Kids, you made it! Pretty amazing, isn't it? <laughs> Welcome to Letterland, a magical world where anything is possible. <laughs> oh, hey there, fellas. Yeah, good to see you. <laughs> Those are my friends, the bees. They are always so busy. But you see what I mean? Letterland is a place where letters come to life in all different kinds of ways, and it's a great place to learn. The reason I brought you here is to teach you about fire safety. Are you ready? Yeah! How, how about you kids? You ready? Yeah! Well, let's get started. Hit it, gang! I'm Sparky the Fire Dog, here to tell you. If there's a fire, you need to know what to do. Join me in Letterland. And you will see Fire safety is easy as A, B, C When your smoke alarm makes a beep, beep, beep Stop what you're doing and don't make a peep Just get outside, be sure to go quickly No time to dilly-dally, walk quickly Go to your outside meeting place And stay Everyone will know you are safe that way so kids, just follow me, and you will see. Fire safety is easy as A, B, C. You see? Yeah! Good job, everyone! Oh, thanks, guys! Oh, don't go too far! Hmm, where should we start? I guess at the beginning, with the letter A. A is for smoke alarms. Smoke alarms let you know there is a fire in your home. B is for beep, beep, beep. That is the sound a smoke alarm makes. It lets you know there is smoke. Mine goes beep, beep, beep. Mine goes beep, 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 fire, fire. Hey, kids, is this the sound a smoke alarm makes? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, what about this? Yes! That's great, kids. What do you do when the smoke alarm goes beep, beep, beep? Well, C is for calm, as in calmly get outside when the smoke alarm sounds. Smoke alarms are loud, don't be scared. E is for everyone, as in everyone should have working smoke alarms in their home because smoke alarms help keep our families safe from fire. When the smoke alarm sounds, beep, 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 get outside and stay outside. H is for have, as in have two ways out of every room and have an outside meeting place where everyone in your family can meet. Oh, a good meeting place could be uh, a tree, uh, the neighbor's porch, uh, a street light. What are some other good outside meeting places? Um, uh, a neighbor's mailbox, that tree in the neighbor's yard. I bet you have a good meeting place near you. Make sure you have a place to meet your family in case of a fire. Because it is I important to get outside and stay outside until help arrives. Oh, hey kids, would a neighbor's car or a neighbor's cow make a good meeting place? No! That's right. Pick a meeting place that will always be in the same place. Make sure you don't pick the neighbor's car or the neighbor's cow because uh, those will move around and not always be there. J stands for Join Sparky's Team. 
These are my friends and partners. Firefighters are community helpers. They wear special clothes and have special equipment to keep them safe. It might look scary, but we don't need to be afraid because they are here to help. Know your fire department's phone number. Usually that number is 911. Do you know your emergency number? As soon as you get to your meeting place, call the fire department. Hey kids, would you call the fire department if you were out of ice cream? No! Right! Being out of ice cream is not an emergency. Would you call if someone fell and couldn't get up? Yes! That's right! In an emergency, you can call the fire department. Now, would you call if your home was on fire? Yes! Of course you would. If there is a fire, get outside and call the fire department. All right, now let's L look at everything we have learned so far. When the alarm sounds, you know what to do. M, make sure you know two ways out of every room, like a window or a door, because you N, need to safely get outside to your meeting place. And remember, O stands for outside. Once outside, stay outside. Now you and your family should practice going outside to your meeting place together. You should practice the plan twice a year. Make sure everyone knows the plan and practices the plan. <laughs> practice makes perfect. <laughs> it means that you will be able to get out quickly. Remember your fire department's phone number and only call if there's an emergency. Also, remember that there should be a smoke alarm where you S, sleep. Ask a grown-up to T, test those smoke alarms every month. Everyone should you understand why smoke alarms are V, very important. W, working smoke alarms should be in your home to keep you safe. I have a smoke alarm. Me too! I have smoke alarms too! Exactly! And if the smoke alarm goes off, why, you know what to do. It's easy! When you hear the alarm, just get outside, stay outside, and go to your outside meeting place with your family. Well, kids, I hope you learned something today. Thanks for coming to hang out with me to learn the ABCs of fire safety. I'm Sparky the Fire Dog, and I told you, if there's a fire, you need to know what to do. When your smoke alarm makes a beep, 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 stop what you're doing and don't make a peep. Just get outside, be sure to go quickly, no time to dilly-dally, walk quickly. Go to your outside meeting place, and stay. Everyone will know you are safe that way. It's up to you, and it's up to me. Fire safety is easy as A. Have a good ple pleading play. Ple 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 you smell that? <coughs> Hi, Sparky. My name is Marky. <laughs> you are the coolest dog ever. Oh, shucks. I hear you. As we saw, there was no writing on the letter. Look. I can read invisible print. That's how good I am. It's never in the same place. <laughs> Mm. Mm. 
great job, everybody. Well, that's all the time we have for fire safety. <clears throat> yeah, it's funny. I didn't. I didn't have any spots when I was a pup. They kind of come up later. <laughs> oh, so, sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. You've got another weekly. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Everyone should you understand why smoke a lot. Oh, 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 oh. I got it. I already got it. Come here. Roof. Roof. Come here. Come back. Come back. Now you're ready to join Sparky's team. Now you're now you're ready to join Sparky's. Now you're ready to join Sparky's team. Well, already. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> now you're ready to join Sparky's team. What kind of dog can use the phone? Hmm? A dialmation. Dialmation! Dialmation! <laughs> What's more amazing than a talking dog? A spelling bee! <laughs> Alright, cut! Start double! Okay, you just fall over laughing. I'm much more attractive than that guy. <laughs> oh! Did that hurt? Alright, that's good. That's good. Great job, everybody. You could have done better. And now, it's time for Sparky's Fire Safety Pup Quiz! The game where you kids at home get to help me answer questions from... You kids at home! Today's pup quiz... <laughs> that's me. I'm the pup, is all about the things we learned while we were in Letterland. So perk up your ears and see if you can answer some of these questions from other kids just like you. This first question is from Mia, who is six years old. Dear Sparky, <laughs> that's me. The smoke alarm noise is scary. It makes me want to cover my head with my blanket and hide. Is that okay? Good question, Mia. The smoke alarm noise can be loud and scary. That's because what you're hearing is a warning. That sound means it is time for you to get outside. Does everyone remember what noise a smoke alarm makes? Well, see if you can tell me which one of these sounds is a smoke alarm. Is it this? No! <laughs> How about this? No! Or is it this sound? Yes! Yeah. <laughs> Good job! That last one was the sound of a smoke alarm, which reminds me of another question. <clears throat> Hi, Sparky. My name is Marky. <laughs> you are the coolest dog ever. Oh, shucks. <laughs> I hear you love bacon. Me too. But sometimes, when my mom cooks bacon, our smoke alarm goes off. Are we supposed to go when that happens? Bacon. Yummy. Marky and Sparky both love bacon. <laughs> oh, that's making me hungry. Mm. Bacon. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, back to your question, Marky. If a grown-up is cooking and the smoke alarm sounds, it is the grown-up's job to decide if everyone should get out quickly. Grown-ups can make this decision. Great question! And nice to hear from you, Marky. Don't forget, if your mom says to go outside when the smoke alarm beeps, be sure to go outside and wait at your family meeting place. Which brings me to another pup quiz question! What makes a good family meeting place? When you and your family pick a spot to meet outside of your home, which of these three would make the best spot? 
Now think about it before you answer. Number one, Fluffy the cat. Number two, a street sign. Or number three, an ice cream truck. Which one of these would make the best family meeting spot? Hmm? Number two, a street sign. <laughs> That's right! A street sign makes a great meeting place! A cat? <laughs> That's just silly! And although we probably all would love to meet at an ice cream truck, it's never in the same place! <laughs> great job, everybody! Well, that's all the time we have for Sparky's Fire Safety Pup Quiz. Hope you had a great time. Oh, thanks for watching our show and learning all about smoke alarms and fire safety. I'm glad you're ready to join Sparky's team. Remember, like we learned in Letterland, fire safety is easy as ABC. <laughs>